What is going on, everyone? Geo Fox. And we back like a booty crack. Mr. Weston, I do. This looks like you have it already on the plate. Looks like it's from the diner. <laughs> it is the diner. We got a little mukbang. <laughs> I, I just have chicken tenders and ranch that's gonna give me diarrhea. A 10 piece chicken tender. Yeah, that was a shocker. I just got two conies and a fry, you know, the usual. I'm a simple man. I need some salt. Dip. I just. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, no. I'm gonna wait. We'll take that bite together. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> it's so good. We're looking at the t shirt. Flint Lives Matter. It is 2021. April 25th of this year will mark seven years since the city of Flint has had access to true, healthy, clean, affordable drinking water. Archie is pissed. And Archie understands. <laughs> so yeah, you see the shirt. Rick Snyder is supposedly going to be being charged with a misdemeanor, which more than likely will be another slap on the wrist. Why is everything just a slap on the wrist for people like in government or whatever? It's like, <laughs> For <laughs> real! <laughs> Like, they get away with everything. Why don't everybody everything? ever get in trouble? <laughs> like, in actual trouble. <laughs> like, and they Even are killing like people. celebrities and stuff. Like, what? Mm-hmm. It's like, I feel like because they have money, and they have the That's power. That's what shit. <laughs> because, it's like, you're a criminal. You're a criminal. Put them in a Flint County prison <laughs> with the rest of them. Don't put them on like the top floor. Put them on like with the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, let, let them know, Archie. <laughs> yes. Archie is so cute. I agree. I feel like it shouldn't matter what your status is, how much money you have or don't have. If you do something wrong, criminal, the crimes against humanity, poisoning an entire city of people, I mean, over a hundred thousand people at the time in 2014 lived in Flint. So you think about all those families, all those kids, you know, who have suffered and who are sick and, you know, long lasting effects. And then here you are, oh, you might have a fine and nine times out of 10, you're going to pay a fine and not spend any moments in, in a jail cell or a prison cell. In the meantime, people have died from legionnaires and other health elements directly related to being poisoned. But my thing is, is people in jail for literally nothing. They didn't do anything. And then you got people that actually did something and just because they're rich, they get to go on like the top floor and like live their life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I agree. Not fair. Not fair. And I understand comments here. <laughs> like, people literally be up in there living a life like it's not, like it's not even a punishment. <laughs> and then every day people like us, you do something like as simple as not paying a parking ticket <laughs> and you can find yourself in jail. I'm dead ass. <laughs> like people not only in jail getting their cars repossessed, being summoned to come to court while you're working, like just all kinds of just violent aggressive things that can happen to everyday people such as ourselves but then you can go and poison an entire city of people and get a slap on the wrist it's wild but like <laughs> heaven forbid you don't pay your parking bill the parking ticket <laughs> mm -mm. my friend we went to the Coney Connection in uh, Flint Township Carmen Hills. And um, it was weird for me because normally I'm like, let's go to Mega Diner, but ever, you know, for the past couple of years, I've been really wanting to be more conscientious about where I 
spend my money. And you know, uh, for years, <laughs> years, it was allegations, it was rumors actually experiencing the shit. And we would be like, oh no, it, that, mm, they just had a bad night that night. Or, well, uh, no. I worked at a place and I was still like, no. Oh, oh, no. Like, <laughs> my in the whole time. into my face, and I'm like, oh, no, no. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, were there amazing people that work at Mega Diner? Yes, because old girl always looked out for everybody. Super nice, super friendly, um, and just a nice person, great service. <laughs> and when you had her. <laughs> um, but we had an I had an experience with other uh, fellow college students at the University of Michigan Flint we went to Mega Diner to break our fast because we had did a fast and this was in 2013 and like we came mind you they're 24-7 they're a diner they're 24-7 <laughs> um, and we came in to break our fast everyone's celebrating like oh my god we can't believe we did this mind you I really hadn't participated. I was doing. <laughs> I was like, y'all, look. I said I wasn't gonna play video games for two weeks. I wasn't gonna be watching TV. I wasn't supposed to be eating fast food. <laughs> oh, I thought like a food fast. Like, um, oh, we was doing like a two week like whole cleansing. Child, <laughs> cleansing your soul. <laughs> you have hot sauce? Dang it! When I mean, you put hot sauce in your ranch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does not like condiments. <laughs> I like barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's some good shit too. That's about it. <laughs> Ever since I've known Anthony. You know, ketchup, you know, mustard, oh, you know, I'll never forget. <laughs> I got the footage too. <laughs> what? When he, uh, I was like, let's go to Grill India. <laughs> oh yeah, that day. <laughs> <laughs> we left because you didn't like it. Like, I mean, we went to the other place. Why Anthony come out geeked as hell thinking he was gonna have spaghetti? He just gave me a motherfucking cup of spaghetti. With one, with one. meatball. <laughs> Amen. <Yeah. ball. laughs> For 15 <laughs> <laughs> And then when you take the meatball out, it was like three noodles in there. <laughs> so it's like you literally just paid for a ball of meat and a couple noodles. <laughs> That shit was funny. So then we ended up blowing the what five guys? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, please, I swear. Just give just half what I need when we get there. <laughs> and that time we had went to um shout out to Linda if you see this. We had went to Linda's birthday. Oh yeah. And Fenton and oh, yeah. I'm sorry. We I'm I'm gonna be honest, I am not of that class. What you mean, class? It's just that's expensive. That's a fancy people shit. Yeah, that was just what I said. It was just expensive. <laughs> it was like $20 for nothing. $20 for a fry. But because we had basil. On the side. <laughs> basil souffle and shit. <laughs> Truffle. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fry is twenty dollars, and you haven't even gotten to your entree or you know anything else. <laughs> That's just the day. Don't we got? I got the. Don't I have the bill? <laughs> Did I keep the bill from you? The laundry. <laughs> even That's the what name. We all night. <laughs> <laughs> all night, the, the laundry. laundry. <laughs> <laughs> we are from Flint. We are working hard. Honestly, yeah. I did walk up to that bitch like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because after that, I was telling everybody, oh, yes, yes. I went to the laundry have in been, downtown Penn. Have you ever been to the laundry? They have lavender lemonade. 
That shit was that good. Shit was nasty. Ha- <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying though. I'm trying to be nice. Like flowers. <laughs> and, and, and then my thing was this: Why was the six seventy five per glass? I remember, like you said, we had the receipt. Six seventy five a glass for some shit that tastes like you eating dandelions with some damn water and vinegar. And you know, once again, I am not of that class. I'm used to going to, um, who I used to love going to Red Robin with my granny. Red Robin, $1.95, and it's just, you know, it just keeps coming. Nah, you paying six seventy five per glass. Child. I was like, okay. And we have fried duck with a candlelight souffle penis. This will be $75. <laughs> Damn. What did I get that day? The chili? I think chili and <laughs> like something. That, like, I don't That's know. What we that shit was still expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, for a bowl of chili. <laughs> Mm. Oh we did have Bitcoin at that time. Yeah. <laughs> we did Bitcoin earlier that day and I don't I still don't know my password to get in the coin. I don't got shit. I don't got no. <laughs> well <laughs> we didn't invest in Robin Hood though. Yeah, I did that's what I do. Back from oh yeah, we before. were talking about no. that earlier this year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy, buy a share. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. In a couple years, we're gonna make another video and look back on this video and be like, oh, still be bro, bro. from Bitcoin to Robin Hood to what else? <laughs> to slavery. <laughs> <laughs> no, but and I and I just want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Westernizer because you are staying committed. You're like, fuck that. I'm not going back to that shit. Thank you. Because if I could just say, fuck my job right now. You see my shirt? Oh, okay. Like, I want to get back into my field. You know what I mean? You want to do something meaningful. Right, right, right. <laughs> These jobs crush my soul. Like, people don't understand. It should be draining your mother's life. <laughs> 